Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a tumor that has been excised from the brain. And we have two pieces of tissue here. Over on the right side, we can see there's a little rim of pinkish appearing tissue. And this is some of the residual benign brain parenchyma. However, majority of the tissue is composed of these sheets of very bluish appearing cells. And this is the tumor. Let's have a quick look at the benign brain parenchyma. And here we see mostly glial tissue with the astrocytes glial cells with a fibrillary background. And this is right at the edge of the bluish areas. We can see some nests of highly abnormal looking cells here. And I'm just going to zoom out so that you can see that we are coming right into this blue area of tumor. So this tumor is composed of very cohesive sheets of cells. We don't see any obvious architectural formations such as gland formations. We also don't see any definite keratinization. What we see are just sheets of cells. And looking at the individual cells, we can see that the nuclei are very large. They are very pleomorphic. There's a lot of variation in size and shape between uh, different cells. For example, this nucleus is very large compared to, say, this nucleus, which is much smaller. The NC ratios or nuclear cytoplasmic ratios appear to be relatively high with many of the cells uh, containing just a small amount of cytoplasm. And this contributes to the blue appearance overall on low magnification because the nucleus occupies so much of the cell. In this field, we can see plentiful mitotic figures. For example, there's one here, there's one here right beside it, another one here here and here again. There are numerous mitotic bodies or mitotic figures in this tumor and this is a sign that this is uh, likely to be a high-grade tumor. Another feature that we can identify if we look at lower magnification are these islands of pinkish areas here and perhaps another area here. And let's uh, take a closer look and this actually represents foci of necrotic tumor cells with this very dense eosinophilic cytoplasm with loss of nuclei. We have a few cells here with apoptotic nuclei that are just shrinking away. So we have the presence of a high-grade tumor, which is very cohesive. And this cohesive appearance and these large cells are very suggestive of epithelial origin. So this is likely to represent a carcinoma. And because this is located in the brain, therefore, this is likely to represent metastatic carcinoma. So in order to ascertain the likely primary site, of course, the clinical history and the radiologic picture is very important. This patient had a history of breast carcinoma. So if we want to confirm whether this indeed is metastatic breast carcinoma, we can do a few things. Firstly, we can compare the histologic appearance of this brain tumor with the original histologic appearance of the breast carcinoma and see if they look similar. And secondly, we can also apply some immunohistochemical markers to this metastatic carcinoma because we know that there are some markers that are more frequently positive or expressed in breast carcinoma, for example, GATA3 and memoglobin. So in summary, this is a case of metastatic, poorly differentiated breast carcinoma to the brain. We see sheets of malignant cells without any appreciable gland formation. The nuclei are pleomorphic and large. Mitotic figures are frequently identified and there are also areas of necrosis. Thank you.